what's really exciting about my day-to-day -day routine is that it's always different. Um, so as a media specialist at IANR, I have the opportunity to work with every single division and every single unit across the institute. So I work with communicators in Kasner and with the Agricultural Resources Division and with Nebraska Extension. Um, and my role is to help their communicators tell the story of the great work that's going on within their units and at the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources. So I tell stories about research, I help promote upcoming events in various different capacities. So whether that's helping put together an email campaign, um, sending out a news release, helping with their social media strategy. Um, it's really exciting because I get to help them and consult with them in various roles. Some of the things that I enjoy most is just the nature of working on campus. Every day I get to meet new researchers, new faculty, new staff, and most of all new students. It's really exciting for me to meet new students. They are our future. Um, they're going to be the ones that are making the impacts 10, 20 years from now. They're going to be the researchers in the field, in the labs that are really um, helping us meet some agricultural goals. One of the biggest challenges that I face in this position is that I don't come from a scientifically minded background. Um, so everything that I am learning and talking about each day is completely new to me. Um, so I also kind of view that as a benefit as well because a lot of times when I'm trying to communicate some of this research and some of this very scientific um, natured content, I'm communicating it to the general public. So I have the opportunity to kind of be that middleman from I can take the information from those who are scientifically minded and I can kind of break it down and put it into terms that the general public will understand and we'll see how it benefits them. I would say on a day-to-day -day basis um, about anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of my time is spent outside of the office and that's really exciting. Um, the world of social media is exciting because it's very real time. I can follow social media all day and if I learn there's an event happening across campus or across town or wherever it may be, I have the opportunity to pick up and go to that event and cover it in different capacities. I feel like the real stories are told when I'm away from my desk. The skills I think are needed to be successful in a position such as mine, um, really it comes down to people. So I really think you need to have those professional people skills developed um, because the whole goal of communication is you want to establish an emotional and a genuine connection with whoever you're trying to communicate with. So if I'm going out and I'm working on an article or a piece about some sort of research, um, it's really important for me to establish a genuine connection with that researcher or with that professor because if I don't have that connection built up, I'm not going to get as much as I can from that interview and then I'm not going to be able to tell their story. So developing people skills to help me establish those bonds and those connections are very important. Just in my time here on East Campus, I have seen the world of agricultural communications change greatly and that's because some of these agricultural issues are real world and they're mainstream issues now. There's, they've come to light. So we have that opportunity and we now have the platform to tell those stories and shine light on what we're doing to impact those stories. Um, so that's been a great positive in terms of the change in agricultural communications. I would encourage students here on East Campus to do something that I am still doing today and that's don't put yourself into a silo. There are so many important and impactful people here working on East Campus, walk through the halls, introduce yourself to as many people as you can, learn about their research because we're all kind of in this together. My advice for students studying agricultural communications today would be to ask questions, ask questions again, and ask more questions. When you're trying to communicate some of these topics, it's more important than ever that we hit, we're clear and we're concise and we're doing it in a way that really hits home. So none of the professors, none of your researchers, or anyone you're working with is going to turn away from a question.